Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here, and welcome to another episode of our Hot Lap Battle. And in this test, we'll be pitting two extreme track weapons: the 2016 Aston Martin Vulcan against the 2015 Radical RXC Turbo, which both have competed against each other in a one-mile drag race. But in this video, we are going to place them where they truly belong, and that is around a circuit. Now, looking at the stats of these two cars, both are rated at S2, with the Radical being slightly higher at 971, as opposed to the Vulcan's 959. Both cars have the highest rating for braking, but the Radical does have the slight advantage in handling, acceleration and launch, but the Vulcan does take one back by having more speed. Now, looking at the real figures of these cars, the Radical is extremely light, weighing less than a thousand kilograms, and when it's pumping 454 brake horsepower, the power to weight ratio of this Radical is absolutely insane. And also, because this car is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive, this can also be helpful in gaining some traction coming out from corners. Now, the Vulcan produces almost double in power at 820 brake horsepower from a 7-litre naturally aspirated V12. However, this car does weigh around 400 kilograms more than the Radical, and it doesn't produce that much extra torque as well. But now, it's time to bring these two cars around our test track for a hot lap, and first up will be the Aston Martin Vulcan. Okay, so I'm in the Aston Martin Vulcan right now, ready to do an impressions lap for you guys, and right off the line, this car, you really have to feather the throttle very, very well, because this car is front engine rear wheel drive, and rear wheel drive produces 820 brake horsepower, so every time when I exit a corner, I have to truly be careful of my accelerator, but apart from that, this car sounds absolutely incredible, and through the straight, this is where I feel the Vulcan will shine against the Radical and the braking is absolutely phenomenal, it stops on a dime and it just helps me control the car so well around the corners. And as you can see when I'm exiting the corners, I really have to be so careful with the accelerator and cornering the Vulcan is very good, the steering is very responsive and it's just an absolute dream to drive, there is a reason why the Vulcan is a track weapon and Apart from the excessive wheel spin when you are not careful exiting corners, there's no fault with the Vulcan that at least I could find anyways, but now it's time to bring this Vulcan and see how fast it can go around our test track. With the Vulcan clocking a lap time of 53.2 seconds, it is now time for the Radical's turn. Okay, so I'm in the Radical right now and right off the line, the Radical doesn't have as much wheel spin as the Vulcan and that is simply because the engine is sitting closer to the rear wheels, which means exiting out from corners that's going to be gaining a little bit more traction as opposed to the Vulcan. And coming through the straight here, this car only produces 454 brake horsepower. Now granted, this car is very light, but power produces speed. And this is the one part where the Radical suffers in comparison to the Vulcan, but quickly makes up for it when it comes to the sharp steering response around corners and the tremendous braking that the Radical possesses. Now, when it comes to handling, this car feels a little bit better than the Vulcan but it's just the speed that the Radical is slightly suffering from. And the other issue that I have with the Radical is the twin turbos produce so much boost at a specific RPM and when I'm not careful exiting out from corners, 
that much boost can potentially cause me to wheel spin even more than the Vulcan and you match that with a very short gear ratio and that causes me to keep thinking what gear I have to be switching into when exiting or entering corners as well and that is somewhat of a potential detriment to the Radical when it comes to the hot lap but anyways let's see how fast this car can go around our track. With the Radical clocking a lap time of 53.6 seconds, let's see how these two track cars compare against some of our fastest cars that have gone around our test track. As you can see, at this point, both these cars are ranked right next to each other on our leaderboards, and surprisingly, both these cars are actually faster than the Bugatti Veyron Supersport. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this hot lap battle. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you would like to see more Forza Horizon 3 content done by me, make sure to not just subscribe to my channel, but click on the bell button next to the subscribe button as well. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.